it's time we let Alex Jones go. We got to let him go, guys. Yeah, it was a good run. It had to shut down sometime. Have you seen what this guy's posting now on his website? Come on. Look, you probably haven't seen it because you don't go there. It's Infowars.com. Look, I'm not here to promote his website. But I am here to pull his card. This guy must be stopped. Now, I know a lot of you, you put up with him. You said, oh, he's talking about Kim Trails. Eh, let him go. He's talking about baby fetuses and Pepsis. Let him go. He's talking about, is, o is Michelle Obama a man? Let the guy go. Let him go. He's harmless. But now the guy's starting to become really a tool to separate and divide people. If you do a search for Black Lives Matter, the first result you're going to get in Google is a post made by Infowars. Where they talk about Black Lives Matter and how dangerous it is and how you should be afraid and how it's going to do some wreak some havoc and cause some violence on 9-11, which is today. Now, today is the 14th anniversary of 9-11, the tragic events. No matter how you depict them, no matter who you blame for, no matter who you think was at the bottom of the whole thing, people died. What does Alex Jones do? What does Infowars do? They use it as a means to get more hits. And they use this group, Black Lives Matter, as the culprit. It's an organization. But everybody who becomes a part of it, who says it, who says they're a part of it or claims it, there is no initiation process. There's no background check. There's no application. Okay? No one calls you down and looks over your credentials and asks where you worked and are you stable? You know, sort of like with the Tea Party. No one asks everyone who goes to a Tea Party rally, what's your IQ? Have you ever slept with a relative? Is your refrigerator inside your house or outside your house? On the porch, maybe? See, no one asks these questions. All I'm saying is this, guys. Alex Jones, who's trying to scare you by saying there's this guy out there who says he's somewhat affiliated with Black Lives Matter and they're coming to get you because you are white or if you are law enforcement. And I'm saying, that's it. Time to cut Alex off. Time to call him out. Time to say, Alex, you know what? Your chicanery, foolery, f can't last. We got to do something about it. So listen here, Alex. Start now. You're going to stop trying to scare people with stuff that's actually relevant. You can talk about, I don't know, an FOI document that you found out about that's been out there for 10 years if you want. Fine, go ahead. Talk to us about John F. Kennedy. Talk to us about the Illuminati. and uh, but, 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 but don't do this. Don't compare or don't try to scare everyone up, rile everyone up about some guy on the internet who has, zero, who has 1,500 followers whose website has been taken down, who has a mullet He's a black guy with a mullet. How afraid of him should you be? Only his barber is afraid of him. So, that's what I got to say about that. Alex Jones, you must be stopped. You're gone too far. This has to end. I'm Tim Black. And I approve this message. <laughs>